as the Edo State chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, takes steps to resolve its crisis, National Chairman Yotia Ayu warns that Governor Godwin Obasaki must not be allowed to leave the party. And in preparation for 2023 elections, the Redeemed Church of God, the Redeemed Christian Church of God, launches a political department to mobilize support for its members to run for office. This is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anako. The crisis rocking the Edo State chapter of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, may be resolved as soon as the national leadership of the party said it will set up a committee that would meet with the aggrieved party members in the state. The national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Yocha Ayu, also warned members of the party in Edo State that Governor Godwin Obasaki must not be allowed to leave the party. He said the infighting within the party, if not resolved, would make them lose the state. Ayu noted that the party lost Edo State in 2008 because of the infighting between the camps of late Tony Aneni and Chief Ibunedion. Now, the party has been engulfed in crisis since the governor, uh, Basaki, was elected on its platform and those, with those who defected with the governor from the APC not getting recognized in their new party. Well, joining us to discuss this is Deputy Chairman of the People's Democratic Party in Edo State, uh, Mr. Lucky Omagwon. Thank you very much, Mr. Magwan. Thank you. My name is not Lucky. Harrison. Sorry? My name is not Lucky, but Harrison. Harrison Omagwan. Oh, yes. I, I apologize for that. Yes, Mr. Omagwan, no. um, exactly why do you think that the people who migrated into the party was the governor, uh, Godwin Obasaki, why do you think that they feel unwelcomed? Because um, that seems to be the... Um, story that we're all hearing. Yes, uh, well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, let's, if we have to say this front situation in the door, I don't think that uh, we really have any crisis within the party. Uh, what we have within the party is the ambition of the two individuals that have decided to take the governor hostage. Because what is about the crisis now has to do with 2023 and 2024. And you all know that the governor is not planning to run for a third term, And the governor is not planning to run for any election now. But those people who have the ambition to run for 2023 and 2024 have decided to take the governor hostage are pressurizing him to dissolve the uh, or to, to reconcile um, or harmonize the structures of the party that are you hearing me i can hear you loud and clear hello i can hear you mr magbon go ahead good what we are having is that these people have been tried for 2023 and 2024 Try to pressurize the governor to what they call harmonization or integration. Other than that, I don't think there's any known crisis within the party in a new state. Uh, I, I know that when the governor came in, he is the governor of the state, there's no doubt about that. When he came in and at the very first meeting he had with us, it, it gave us the assurances that all were with the party and that he was willing to work with the structures in Medon ground. And things were going very well until some of these individuals who are not checking, they are like, or want to leave the party if they don't get what they want. But down there, the government has always reiterated that nothing, nothing whatsoever will make him this ability. Okay. And that he has, from the species, he has always been very pleased to see this thing. And it's resolute in the stand not only PPP. Great. But these individuals who are winning the government of the they are creating the impression that all is not well within PPP. And I want to assure you, 
and I'm sure our people that all is very well within the in the meeting. As much as as much as we all want to believe you, because of course you are a, um, um, a, a member of the executive in the political party, but there's a video that's been making rounds on social media uh, with the deputy governor of the state in that video. Let's take a listen to what he has to say, and then I'll, when you come back, would like to hear from you. Come again, please. There's a video that has been making rounds on social media with the deputy governor of the state. Uh, talking about the problems within the party. would like to put out that video. I want you to listen carefully to what he has to say, and then we'll talk. For the issue of PDP, I want to also thank this, uh, the chairman for being firm and courageous. I thought our chairman was not a courageous one, but now I know he's a courageous one and firm. Chairman, well done. When Mr. Governor has spoken, the deputy is not supposed to speak, but I'm speaking on behalf of a donut. So, Mr. Governor, for a donut, a do south, a do central, I use the word the, the three senatorial. And flowing from what I know, my chairman in APC that we joined, follow you to PDP, Aslam Odizwa, and all that chairman and executive that left with us. Mr. Governor, we are tired. We are actually tired. Every time we come, we will soon, we will soon, we will soon, we will soon. When will this soon be over? Mr. Governor, we all agree that anywhere you go, we will follow you. We will still stand by that. But Mr. Governor, we escorted you to PDP. We are not still being accepted. That is the truth. We are not still being accepted. We have not been accepted. <laughs> Mr. Governor, your leadership style is what has kept us this far. Your leadership style, you have been telling us to be patient and we believe in you. We believe that you always take us to that promised land. And that is that perseverance that will make us to still remain in PDP. I am speaking their mind. Mr. Governor, we don't want to be like the cow. In my language, they say robot do rugby man. No, that is patient nine kill cow. You tie a leg, it keep quiet. As big as it is, you tie a neck, tie everything before it... <laughs> Mr. Governor, please and um, please. In a do state, see me sitting with my brother, Tony Anini Jr., my auntie, Mrs. Sinye, our chairman's wife. Beautiful people in PDP, excited to work with them. They make us feel. So, um, Mr. Magon, you heard the Deputy Governor, Mr. Shaibu, there talking about the fact that they're tired of not being brought into the fold. And he made mention of all the people that they came with from the APC. He's also continuously said that they will continue to stand by the Governor. They will go anywhere Governor Obaseki is going, but that they're tired of how they're being treated within the PDP. So I want to ask, from what you have been saying, that there are a few people who are trying to hold the governor hostage. It seems the governor was at that event, and he was addressing the governor directly, saying they are tired of being treated badly. Now, if you're also saying that there's nothing wrong within the party, why is Mr. Yocha Ayu trying to set up a peace panel to deal with the issues within the party? Uh, you know... When, when, when issues like this are on ground and uh, some individuals are creating the impression that there is crisis, the, the, the only thing is for the chairman of the party to set up a panel to look into it. But that aside, if we must address the real issue, I want to use the opportunity to advise people who are privileged to be in top position, to try as much as possible not to betray the trust and confidence of the people that put them into power. They must at all times try as much as possible to be civil, to be frank and, and truthful, and behave as best very responsible so that the people will have that confidence and trust to, to, to send them to other places. 
But when somebody in his position wants to be suffered for his self for his own best interest, it's rather unfair. What is that political and best interest? Best. What is I'm sorry, Mr. Malcolm. What is that interest that you think? Uh, Deputy Governor Shwaibu has. Are, 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 you say, are, are you saying that he's nursing an ambition that, yes? Tell you why I go that people who are in 2023 and 2024, they are the ones specializing the governor to, 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 to presume that the status within the party, in the state. And I am telling you, if we want to really sit back, I want to start asking questions about management of the party from government. In fact, you will know who the aggressors are. But that is not the issue now. So, but what's stopping if the party from part sitting back and seeing and asking those questions that you say you need to ask? What's stopping the party from sitting back, asking those questions, finding out if the truth is there is no problem, that there are certain people who are just trying to foment uh, this trouble. What's stopping the party from doing that instead of assuming that there are people who are, are nursing ambitions? And then what's wrong, with no what's wrong with nursing an ambition for 2023? I mean, it's campaign season. People you, will be... You, you, you say there's, 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 there's personal interest in all these things. And you will not expect that uh, uh, party officers will start joining people who they are supposed to manage to ensure victory for the party. Whether you like anybody like it or not, the party is the producer of government. Okay. The government is the product of the party. So when, when people in government now want to start holding party, party officers to, to, to run from, it's unfortunate. And the young journalists to be in the position to educate them that they are product of the party. And the party is to I'm a journalist. I'm, I'm a right journalist, but I, I cannot get, get involved in your internal party process. And that's why I'm having you on this show. So you educate us as to what exactly is happening within your party. I'm not to educate anybody about what's happening in your party. Yes, I am your listening. Party within now. the party, I am telling you that we don't have any crisis. And as far as we are concerned, from individuals for their personal gains and benefits, and second interest, and I'm um, to, to attain their ambition, they are they are to study in the in the party, and we are not prepared to join issues with anybody in that category. So, what is the essence of the peace committee that is being or about to be set up? What is the essence? If you're not going to join uh, issues, if, 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 if the national chairman, in his wisdom. Set up a committee for the constitution to look into the matter. By the time the truth will be out, we, we will now know who the aggressors are. Hmm. Great. So, going forward now, because I mean, if you're saying that certain people are nursing ambitions, eh, if the deputy governor, I'm not saying that that's what you're saying, if he is nursing an ambition, why should that ambition in any way hamper uh, the collective, dear, the collective dear, unity of the party? My dear, the truth will come out eventually. It, it is not for me to, to start uh, to, uh, to put it in, uh, in anybody's uh, mouth or anybody's head. The truth will eventually come out, and then the other one will see. Only a fool will ask what part to start along this good path. When the good path is going, you know what the truth is that it is. All right, let's move away from that and talk about the governor. Uh, the governor has said many times over and over again that he's not going anywhere, he's not leaving the party. And so has the national chairman of the party said, no one, uh, well, he, made, he gave a statement saying that you as party men should make sure that the governor does not leave the PDP. What do you think he meant by that? Listen, I told you a while ago that the governor, a very responsible man, has said so clearly that he nothing to make him leave PDP. And the governor is a responsible man and we have no issue with him. When the governor came into the party, he had meetings with us and was very appreciative of the people that are keeping him. And I'm sure that the president of the chamber would call for that peace meeting 
And when the truth arrives, it will eventually come out. The government himself will still remain with the party and it will, it will create a neighboring environment for good governance of the state. Do you see any other members aside from, I mean, since you have said, and then there's a surety that the governor is not leaving, do you see other people leaving the party, being that most of them are still saying that they've not necessarily been um, comfortable well, within is, the party? That is not for me to say anything about. If anybody wants to leave the party, it's a free franchise. Uh, well, like the business of uh, free choice, no problem was uh, considered to it. And nobody is not pretending to be a member. We have to start respect for religion. But is it is it is it, is, of PDC, they want to be their free. is it not the job of the party to make sure that all members are happy, especially when you know that you're in campaign season, you're supposed to be galvanizing, building your forces against the opposition. Should that be the um you know the a statement from someone who's in the, the executive of a party that wants to build a stronger and formidable party that will stand against the opposition. Should that be your position? What is it? I'll ask again. Come to me, please. Well, you said that, you know, whoever wants to leave the party can leave or, you know, that it, it's, it's a game of, you know, choice. But I'm saying, should that be the position of a member of the executive, being that the PDP is trying as much as possible to make sure that their formidable team come 2023, should that be a position um, as a member of the executive? Uh, 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 the more the merrier. Not that we don't want anybody to leave us. But if people are not uh, prepared to, to, to work with us and be part of the trade, uh, because they are coming and be strong, we won't we want them to be with us. But yeah. what it is busy, and those things is a PDC state. Where people put on that rumor that PCP has ever won an election for 12 years, they don't say that is a lie. All presidential elections, national assembly elections, in the last 15 years in the United States, PDP has won everything. Up to the last one. Mm -hmm. Up to the last one, PDP won. Uh, even, even when we have a PC governor and a PC national chairman from Edo, we still have two senators. And four out of rest. And the presidential candidate at Tiku and Pata, none of those states. Okay. If not, we move them in this issue that again, the rest of them are going to find out. Okay. All right. Well, I want to say thank you. Um, Mr. Harrison Omagbon is the deputy chairman of the People's Democratic Party in Edo State. We'll, we'll keep following the story and hopefully um, the issues within the party are resolved. Thank you so much for speaking with us. You are welcome. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you all for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, the Redeemed Christian Church of God takes steps to provide support for members who want to run for office. Is this the choice that they should be making? Well, we'll get to talk about that after this break.